I walk like I talk like I act like I look like I think like my shit don't stink. I fuck like I suck like I ride like I taste like I look like my shit don't stink. I walk like I talk like I. To me, the mentality is a really simple one in, in the sense that the confidence comes from preparation. You know, so when the game's on the line, I'm not asking myself to do something that I haven't done thousands of times before, right? So when I prepare, I know what I'm capable of doing, I know what I'm comfortable doing, and I know what I'm not comfortable doing, you know, right? And so in those moments, if it looks like I'm ice cold or not nervous, it's because I've done it thousands of times before. So what's one more time? All right, y'all, it is Tuesday of peak week. I already got up and did my cardio, done all the things. I took photos um, for Kerrigan this morning here and at the gym just because I wanted to see her in different lightings. Like I said, I feel like every other part of me is dry but my stomach, but then Kerrigan told me because I like literally just gave her like close-up videos of me. Um, and she was like, honestly, you do have some extra skin from your weight loss, which I had no idea. People ask me that all the time, so apparently I have a little bit, but she's like, it's nothing to worry about because once you dry out and then we fill out, we'll be fine. Um, so she's like nothing to be concerned about. So that made me feel better. Um, today my meals, um, are the same besides my post-workout. It's now four ounces of fish, 150 grams of veggies, and then 20 carb either from rice cakes or cream of rice or rice. I'm probably gonna do rice cakes. I'm gonna be honest because that's just easier. Um, and then my breakfast has 50 grams of blueberries in it now too. So, and she dropped my evening cardio. So today... She gave me the training plan for the week. I'll do push today. It'll be my last push day tomorrow. Yesterday was my last leg day. Um, tomorrow will be my last pull day. And then Thursday is going to be a circuit that she's going to send to me. So I'll show you guys that. I am going to film my push day because today I got my cardio done earlier because I have a posing session. My last posing session with Alyssa at 11. And then I have a call with one of my clients. And then that's pretty much all I have to do is just train for the rest of the day. Um, I do have my vlog from yesterday is going up at noon. I need to make sure it's still uploading, so got to figure that out too. Um, but I'm going to make my breakfast. Same thing. Two eggs, 96 grams, basically 100 grams of egg whites, 100 grams of veggies, 50 grams of blueberries, 40 grams of oats. So that's what we're going to do right now. My phone just fell off. Um... And basically after cardio, I didn't shower because I'm going to do this posing, but I want to practice with my extension. So I just doused my hair in dry shampoo um, and then put it up. I'm going to blow dry it and then attempt to like just put some heat on it so I can put some extensions just so I can practice with them. Um, but yeah, it's 940. That's at 11. So that's what we're going to do right now. All right, y'all, I just got off of my posing call with Alyssa and the other call I had, they canceled. So we're gonna go to the grocery store because it's not even noon yet. So it's too early for me. Let me put this ketchup away. Um, it's too early for me to eat my pre-workout meal. Um, I need more stevia and eggs and it'll be an event for me. So, and probably some more rice cakes. I should probably pick up too. So yeah, that's what we're doing. We got my water because we have a gallon and a half to get down today. Well, we're going to go to the store now. Y'all, and the worst part of reversing is they're putting in a Stan's Donuts at the bottom of my grocery store I go to. So, once again, praying on Kenzie's downfall. So I got more blueberries because I'm almost out and I'm sure as carbs increase, she'll add more blueberries to my plan. So I'm gonna get more of these, stevia, and eggs. And... Okay, rice cakes are not done this way. I need to get rice cakes too. So I'm gonna have those post workout today. Oh, uh, we'll go on the way out. Let's get eggs first. The way I should have gotten the cart. It's fine. We're gonna get my happy eggs. Yes, I know that they're just dyed darker yellow to make you buy them. Do I care? No, because do they somehow still taste better in my mind? Absolutely they do. So we're going to get one of these. I'll get more regular eggs. Oh, shit. <laughs> I guess that's what happens when you film yourself in the grocery store. I'm sorry. <laughs> Good one the way that I just spilled that entire thing of blueberries because I don't have a cart. It's gonna walk. 
it's fine. I was just like staying there like as if I'm gonna do something. I was like, and he's like, we'll pick it up, no worries. I was like, I'm sorry, don't hate me. Okay, anyways, let's get some ice cakes. We're just gonna get one more because it's not like I'm eating a ton of them these days. Are you kidding me? Okay, it looks like I will be getting the white cheddar ones because they don't have my regular ones. Um, we're gonna get blueberries tomorrow because I just don't know if I can come back from that. All right, y'all, well, that was eventful. But I got a dark sport package. So I'm gonna show y'all it's everything from the last drop, I'm pretty sure. Um, normally I don't know what I'm getting in my dark sport packages, but because the Austin trip, like, flights were, just had to be moved around and stuff, um, the athlete manager was like, let me know what you want for the drop, and I'll send you a second package. So, I got a bunch of shit, I'm hyped. I got the orange colorway of, uh, oh, hey, she didn't tell me about these. Okay, just kidding. So I got the orange leggings. Love these. The seamless leggings, I really like, you guys. I'm just kind of insecure about my ass right now because, like, yeah, when I'm posing, I have muscle. It's glute. But when I'm just standing, that should be inverted, okay? Oh, shit, she gave me the leggings and the shorts. And then I got the shorts and the seamless. Y'all know how I fuck with the seamless. I've been doing small in the seamless because they're honestly so stretchy. And I don't even think it's just because I'm in prep. Like, even outside of prep, I think I'd still do a small because they're so stretchy. And then the matching sports bra. These are probably my favorite sports bras from Dark. We'll see once I get my titties done if they're still the same. Hell yeah. And then I also got this green one, which I think is super cute. Shit. They hooked your girl the fuck on up. And then the green shorts. These are like my go-to leg day shorts because they make my ass look great. Ooh, and then what are these? Are these seamless or are these regular? Nope, these are seamless. So the green seamless too. Honestly, maybe I'll wear that to the gym today. We'll see. We have one last push session. Yes! Hell yeah, they got me the fucking beanie I asked for this. I need, because you guys know I wore that gray one like it's always business. This in the winter, y'all already know. Hell yeah. And then obviously I needed more t-shirts. Mostly because I don't want to do laundry. Oh uh, yes. This is like the blue. I think this is from the men's. But it's like this blue like muted. This is honestly probably my favorite like shade of blue. It has like a lighter blue. Um, what a wolf situation. We got that. Oh wait, I think I got this. Um, and then I got another pair of, these are, are they black or are they black and gray? They're black and night marble is the color. So I got these ones too. You guys, I just fuck with these shorts like it's nobody's business. Ooh, actually I lied. I don't know if my favorite sports bra are the seamless ones or these ones because I had her get me the other colorways. And these like tea back bras, it just has wolves on the front and then has a wolf on the back. I can do a small or medium in those. Fuck yes. I have the black sweat set. Kaylin has the wrong one. I was like, okay, so it looks like I need the wrong one. I've been so into their sweatpants lately. So these are brown. They have the wolves. Oh, these are backwards. It says wolves right up there. I have these in black. I was wearing them yesterday. That, and then it comes with a matching cropped like little one of these. Oh. Like this. And then it cinches. How fucking cute. That'd be a cute little airport fit. No. Oh, what's this? Oh, yes. Oh, no, this is like, I got Jackson a matching one. So I was like, I'll have the sweatsuit and then me and Jackson can match. And I got him the bra the big brown one. Isn't that cute? I think. Unless I decide I want this for myself. Sorry, Jackson, if you're watching this, you're not. Um... Yeah. That's everything there. It's honestly still too early to eat my pre-workout meal. You guys, honestly, it's like, you look at how many meals you have in prep and the hours in your day, and you're like, okay, I can't eat yet. So I'm honestly probably just going to do some work, just like lounge in my house for a bit before I have my pre-workout meal. And then I'll train push, send Kerrigan check-ins again, because she wants pictures after my second meal, like an hour afterwards. Um, just because I know myself, and if I'm home by like 3.30... 
because it's a push day, so I'm going to fucking take that long. And I don't have cardio to do anymore in the evening. So, like, if it's, like, 3.30 and we sit at my house, like, what next? Like, what are we going to do? And honestly, I like, I don't like going to my gym at this time of day because no one's there. And, like, it's really my only social time, so I like to see people when I'm at the gym. If I want to, if I'm in the mood to see people, I want to. But, yeah, so that's what I'm doing right now. I don't know. We'll chat later, probably. Okay, you guys, it's a little early for me to send Kerrigan photos, so I'm going to put these extensions in so I can practice at the gym because I'm not going to be that sweaty because I'm just doing push. Um, just doing push, and then there's no cardio, but I want to be able to pose when I'm there and practice because the extensions are a little heavier than my normal hair, obviously. Um, but these, so I'm getting extensions that, like, were made, like, with my hairstylist um, from this brand that sent them to me, but they're not quite here yet, so I'm using these old Luxie ones I have. They're, like, a halo. They still match my hair, so that's nice. Um, but I'm just adding the large attachment, because when I got these, I never, like, chain I never, like, tried out the different sizes and shit. So, we're going to have time to do that. I'm going to watch this YouTube video, so music starts now. All right, y'all, it's been a minute since we talked. I already had my tilapia meal. I had my pre-workout meal. We're about to go to the gym, but I just finished curling my hair and getting these fucking extensions in. So I guess I'll run it through. I honestly don't think they look that bad. For being a halo, I don't know. We'll see how it looks in the back. I don't want, this front piece is not fully what I need it to be, but I just wanted some volume in my back post so I guess I'll watch this and see if it looks fucked up in the back or not but yeah I just wanted more volume in my back pose um so these are my backups but they match pretty well in my opinion um I'm gonna have my hair curled so I can just blend it all together and my hair doesn't stay straight well at all so we are going to bring this head of hair to the gym so I can practice my hair flips get a push day in um and yeah that's it so I'm gonna film it on my phone for you guys again today because that was easy and it worked, so we're gonna do that again. All right, y'all, we made it to the gym. I have this hat on to kind of like keep my extensions down during my workout. Um, obviously a dark sport pump cover. Me is the most shredded I've ever been. We'll always wear my t-shirt, some moves, and some don'ts. Um, probably go outside, talk some shit with Hector, and then train push. What's up y'all, Kenzie here. So y'all are always asking what I listen to during prep at the gym, and to be honest, you get to a point where you gotta dig real fucking deep. So if you're scared by this uh, little sound recording, I'm sorry. I just have to pretend like I'm prepping for the Olympia at this point. So here it is. Man, this sport could be a lonely fucking sport. There's a lot of fucking haters out here. Nobody wants to see you succeed, but I will be number 14, mark my word. The shadows don't give a shit. <laughs> I'm like, this is me. Here I am. I am going to be my all-time best. This Olympia, it's all in. It's like, I'm, I'm going for broke. Like, whatever it takes to get this one, like, I'm all in. For me, this one is complete redemption. I am at Gold's Gym. I am at the Mecca. And you know, this is bodybuilder. You know what you need to do to get back there. Bill Heath, someone's knocking on your door.
Okay, I was literally in the gym for like two seconds because I just did push. It feels, I'm honestly, I can't lie, I'm a little sad I don't have that cardio. Um, I'm going to tell Kerrigan tomorrow though to let me know when my last fasted cardio session is. Um, because I want to know before I do it. Like, I want to, you know, just be in the mood. But anyways, um, this is going to be TMI for probably some of you, but if you've been around, you know that there's no TMI with Kenzie. So, you guys are always like, okay, Kenzie, what are things about prep that nobody tells you, blah, blah, blah. I always talk about, like, being too lean, like, whatever, just, like, how it doesn't feel good. But, like, my asshole the past week, you guys, like, it's constantly in pain. It hurts right now. It hurts when I stand. It hurts the most after I pee and I stand up. Like, the way, and it's not in the way of, like, my butt is so bony that, like, when I sit on the bike, like, to do cardio, like, I can't do it because, like, it hurts my butt because the bone is so exposed. It's, like, I feel so lean. Like, I talked about this before. Like, my ass cheeks are, like, opened, right? I feel like my asshole is, like, outside of my body. Like, the way that women describe, like, when they talk about pregnancy and, like, ripping your vagina all the way to your asshole, minus the vagina part. That's literally how I feel. Like, it hurts so badly. And, like, it's... I don't even know. Because I at first I thought it was because I was, like, shitting my brains out, obviously. So I was like, okay, like, it's just sore from doing what she needs to. Okay, that light was way too bright. Um, but no, like, it's literally in pain. Anyways, you guys, I was like, oh, I need to go to Target. No, I'm not going to go to Target. We're using some self-control right now. Just because it's, like, 5 o'clock and I'm not eating my post-workout meal. Because my post-workout meal is my last meal of the day. And we're not eating that right now. So, like, maybe I'll go home. Just be in my house. I'm not even sweaty, so I don't even need to shower. Um, which, like, probably should I? Yeah, but I'm gross. Like, it's fine. It was just a push day. It's, like, whatever. And even though it's, like, my push days right now, like, they're, like, kind of, like, just pump sessions. If this car hits me, the way that I will sit, I parallel park, and I will put my ass on somebody. I will park a centimeter away from you, and I'm, like, how dare you even come close to me right now, Mr. Mustang. Um, but, yeah, I don't know. I really feel like I didn't film a whole lot for you guys today. I did film at the gym. The way that I have not been bothered all prep and I could have just brought my phone. Oh, hey! <laughs> oh, my girl Marcel. Um, she's probably going to do her cardio right now. Um, but yeah, so then we go home. I'm going to look at the hotel. I think I told you guys, I'm going to get a hotel in Waukegan. So my show's not in Chicago. It's like an hour outside of Chicago. And obviously, Karen and Brandon are flying here, so they're going to stay in Waukegan. But I was talking to Hector. He's like, you just don't want to be stressed. Like, you don't want to have to worry about driving an hour to Waukegan the morning of your show. And like, if you forget something, he's like, just get a hotel room for Friday and Saturday night. So then you don't have to check out on Saturday morning. Um... Like, just, like, have it for Friday and Saturday. But, obviously, most of the hotels are sold out, so me and Carrie are working at them. But I found one last night that I need to send to her so that we can all book at the same place. Um, and, yeah, and then I think... I think Jazzy gets here on Thursday. I don't know where they're staying. Um, Jazzy Fit with Dark Sports. She is competing in bikini. I've had to keep my mouth closed for a long time, but she's she announced it, I think, like, four weeks out. So she said what show she's doing. Um, so, Team Hustle Harder, baby! Actually, the show promoter, I think, maybe I told you, I don't know what I tell you guys shit here on TikTok. Um, but the show, uh, like, posted, like, whatever, there's, like, a Team Cup award. The only, like... We're gonna we're not gonna win based on just like how many people we have because if you get an overall that's ten points, you win your class, that's ten points. I think it is something like that. So it's like even if me and Jazzy, she's bikini, I got my class and I got um the overall and she did too, like if there's a team that has ten people on it, like the points wise it's just whatever. But I just thought it was hilarious for putting team hustle harder. Um but anyways, I don't know why I just told you guys that. I Probably because, like, subconsciously, I'm like, oh, I didn't feel like I filmed a lot today for you guys. Okay, cop car, we are putting y'all down! We do not need any tickets because I presently have an unpaid parking ticket that I need to pay. Um, also, speaking of you guys, after prep, you guys are always like, what do you want to eat? What do you want to eat? What I want is that fucking cookie butter cold brew from Dunkin' Donuts that everyone won't shut up about. Especially my friend Michaela. And I know it's not even macro-friendly, but I'm like fuck it. That I want. 
And I want some fucking chicken tenders. Some spicy hot chicken tenders from Bandit. If you guys have been there in the West Loop, is it like a piece of shit bar that I usually get wasted at? Yeah. Do they have pretty decent bar food? Also, yes. Their brunch, also fire. They have like Nashville hot chicken tenders. I like them because they're not spicy. Like they, people like... The, like, the reviews aren't good on them online because they're not spicy and people are like these are supposed to be spicy but they come with like a garlic and herb or that's probably not it I just made that up it's like a savory pancake coleslaw pickles and then like some kind of ranch I don't know what the fuck it is fire you make them like into little waffles bro or tacos not waffles um but yeah, so those are really, that's what I have said I wanted all prep. Like I told my girlfriends here, I was like, everyone pick a Sunday that y'all can take off work in January. We're getting fucked up at brunch and we're going to band aid. So they all know that's happening, but that's what I've said I've wanted like sent like from the get go. But actually when I was talking to my friend Shelly today, I kind of realized like, I think a lot of people look at preps and they're like, oh my God, you have to diet for this long. Like, oh, aren't you ready to be done and eat? Because to them, like the worst part of this is that I don't get to eat whatever I want, right? Whereas like four days out, like, yeah, I was just telling you guys like what I wanted just cause like I saw it and shit. Cause there's Dunkin' Donuts by me. Um, but it's like, I'm at a point where I have worked for so long. Like, it's not like the work that was done in this prep. Like, it was just these 18 weeks. Like, to me, this show is, like, just kind of, like, accumulation of, like, all the work I've done in the past, like, two years with Kerrigan. Um, so, like, I'm not like, oh, I can't wait to eat. I'm like, I can't wait to be on stage, which I think is nice because I don't know if I would have started a prep two years ago if that would have been my mindset. And honestly... I think I said this on my TikTok the other day too, like, I am so much less food focused at this point in my prep than I thought I would be. Like, I really, I told myself I wasn't going to allow myself to buy snacks and stuff to, like, hoard at home for, like, after the show, but, like, I kind of thought that I would still do it, if I'm going to be honest. Okay, people, I can't. Um, I thought that, like, I would probably still do it, and the fact that I have it, I'm like, okay, that's shocking, honestly. If there's not, per ah, no. That's not a parking spot. The most... Oh, wait. I can turn around there. That's a parking spot. Hey! The most irritating shit is when people are, like, half a parking spot away from each other. And it's like, okay, homies, if we could just not do that. Um, the way that there is a beautiful parking spot that I could flip around for, but I'm just going to parallel park here because I can. Um, don't know what I would do out without Miss Backup Camera, if I'm going to be real. But yeah, you guys, really, I'm just gonna, like, what, clean my kitchen, make dinner. <sighs> really what I need to do. I really need to respond to DMs tonight. I, 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 you guys, I'm so bad. Do you, okay. Sometimes I'll go to TikTok Live and be like, somebody will be like, Bestie, I sent you a DM. I'm like, you along with 300 other people I haven't responded to? Okay, man, don't look at my fucking car. No, we are. Um, but anyways, so that's what we're gonna do. Um, I would like to get some of this edited tonight. I never put up that coat hanger. Well, I attempted to, but then I put the nails. It took me so long to get the nails on my wall. So long, because I don't have a hammer. I only have a screw. Uh, screwdriver. And then I put them in the wrong holes. And then once I realized that I put them in the wrong holes, and the holes on the wall and the holes on the thing didn't match up, I had a breakdown for about two seconds and then quit. Um, so I did that. And then... What else? I do have a shoe rack, you guys. What's even more embarrassing, you guys are always like, oh my god, Kenzie, you're so disciplined at everything. I bought a shoe rack from the container store probably six months ago. Still in the container. Still in the container. From the container store. Not put together. Because so I was like, oh, I'm going to move, but I really need storage, you guys. Because I, I keep on being like, oh, don't buy shit because you're going to move. You're going to move. You're going to move. But it's like, can I have a disorganized mess of a life for the next six months? I don't really think so. Um, so yeah, I, you guys will talk inside. Goodbye. Okay, so change of plans because I wanted to get a Diet Coke. <laughs> so I went to the gas station that I always get my energy drinks at in the morning. And they're so cute. Like, <laughs> so the girls there, like they know, cause I come in like every fucking morning for a freaking orange mango c4 and so the girls there like know about my show they're like how many days and then one of them the other day she's like how long have you been dieting for i was like when i'm done it'll be like almost 19 20 weeks and she's like oh hell <laughs> but then tonight the guy that worked there um he gave me like a free uh, like little like when 
what those like lint like chocolates like a peppermint one and I could I didn't have the heart to tell him that obviously I couldn't eat it right now so I'm gonna save it <laughs> um but yeah so that was that we're not, now we're gonna go home this is just how my brain works Kerrigan has not dropped okay all right Mr. Carr let's not run me over okay Kerrigan hasn't dropped out of socials yet so Literally, there are some days that my weight doesn't drop in my gazette because I didn't have a Diet Coke. Probably some. That's what's happening. Update, I have a fucking hemorrhoid, so I just Uber Eats some cream. I'm going to take an Epsom salt bath. We will talk tomorrow, everyone. I'm going to do that. Now I know why my asshole is in such pain. Okay, anyways. We need this to go away on its own because I cannot have anybody stick their hand up my ass. That just can't happen to me. I just can't have that happen. All right, you guys, we'll talk tomorrow. Good night. Okay, you guys, I showered and calmed down, but the other day when I went to Ulta and I got that peppermint shit, this candy cane by Tree Hut, this changed my life. And the shave oil, fire. Cause it's not even like oil, it's almost like a clear gel. Feels so good, so easy to work with, love her. Um, yeah, really I just need to end this vlog so that I wasn't pissed. But I need to edit this. Ideally, because it's like nine o'clock, I'd like to like get this on my computer, edit it so I can go to bed around 10. Because if I go to bed right now, it's like, okay, yeah, I'll go to bed, but I'll wake up at 11. So we're trying to do that. But I want to edit this, so I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Tomorrow's Wednesday. Getting my lashes taken off. I want to get a pedicure tomorrow. Um, I just organized my bathroom. Um, but I want to, like, put all my makeup for the show together because, I mean, that hotel. That's what I need to do tonight is send that hotel to Kerrigan. Um, yeah. Tomorrow, we'll see what's on the agenda. We have a poll day tomorrow, which... Because it's a different split this week because it's... Um, normally, I would do legs on Wednesday. But tomorrow's a poll day. We'll see what Kerrigan has to say tomorrow morning. So I'll talk to you then. Who you a fool for this? Who you a fool for this? I walk like I talk like I act like I look like I think like my shit don't stink. I fuck like I suck like I ride like I taste like I look like my shit don't stink. I walk like I 